Hello and welcome back to On Your Beauty. Today's video is going to be my December empties. Um, this is all a bit delayed because I had other videos to do at the start of the month. But I finally got around to, to uh, gathering up my empties for this month. Not that I had to gather them up, they've always been in this bag. But finally get around to recording the video I should say. I <laughs> hope you're well. Anyway, let's get started. Um, first out we have a Raspberry and Pomegranate Revive Shower, Bur Shower Burst from Creatins. This was fine. It was average. I got it as a free gift with purchase. Yeah, it smells quite pleasant. Um, maybe a wee bit too sweet for me um, all the time, but this worked fine. It did as it says in the tin. Got some cotton wool double round pads. Yay, there's a surprise. And I've got some oval ones as well. Now, oh, I'm getting rid of these eyelash curlers. Um, I tried these out and unfortunately they're too small to use in my eyes um, and when I tried to use them they were nipping my eyelid so every time I went to use them I would get nipped almost in the middle of my eyelid you know along my lash line where it would just catch um, I've gone back to my Kevin Acorn eyelash curlers really 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 recommend them and yeah at least I've tried others to know but I prefer the Kevin Acorn ones because they're Nice and big by comparison and they actually fit my eye quite nicely and they're just a more suitable shape. They're less of a rounded shape, they're more overly, if that makes sense. But yes, I'm not a fan of these. These may work really well for you, unfortunately they don't work for me. That's the Vintage Cosmetic Company eyelash curlers. I have a cleanser. So from Sanctuary I have the Fresh... Fresh? faced purifying wash and I did use obviously use it a lot I've used it all up um, I generally just use this in the mornings as my wash in the mornings I often and I shouldn't have I would use it on a damp face and scrub it uh, or rub it in um, what I should have been doing and what I now do with my gel cleansers is apply them to dry skin with dry hands and then take a damp face cloth to take it off but I'm going to do an updated skincare routine soon, so I'll tell you all about that there. But yeah, use this all up. Would recommend it. It is okay. Um, it didn't irritate my skin, but it didn't do anything magnificent for it either. It was just a nice daily wash. It wasn't too harsh. So I quite like using this in the mornings just to wake my face up. I have finished up um, a chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter from the body shop empty tin just to prove it I have already repurchased this I really enjoy this I love it in the evenings I use it to give myself a facial massage I think it's a really good um, it's more budget friendly kind of um, cleansing butter I do prefer the Emma Hardy one a lot I love it but I don't want to be spending that kind of money on the cleanser all the time when I can use this one and it is just as good pretty much and I can still give myself a nice massage with it so I've repurchased this one I have another empty Waxperts Ingrown Hair Pads. Love these. Really recommend them. I've done a review on them. I'll link it down below. Definitely worth investigating if you wax a lot and have issues with ingrown hairs. Really recommend it. Some people else also use these on their spots because they have similar ingredients to um, acid pads, etc. For spots, you know, from from where. And I think Clarisil do one and a few other different companies. But... Similar idea, the little pads you use on your skin, in this case it's for your bikini line. Sorry, just falling asleep there, wake up. Anyway, from Dove, I have two of their, so I have a shampoo and conditioner, and it's for colour hair, where is it? Yeah, with colour revitalizer for damage solutions. Didn't really enjoy these actually, they kind of left a bit of build up on my hair and I had to use other stuff to get rid of it. I didn't know that it really held on to my colour massively longer either. I am using other ones that I prefer. I'll do a review of the others on my blog, but really didn't enjoy these. Um, I repurchased them. I just didn't like, I don't like any kind of build up on my hair at all. So Now, I have two eye creams. One of them is empty. From Clinique, I have the All About Eyes. This is to reduce circles and puffiness and whatever else. I did actually quite enjoy this. I didn't notice any massive difference in my wrinkles or my circles as such, but I don't know, it just, it 
looked after the skin really well around my eyes. I didn't get any dry patches and I generally just liked the feel of it on my skin and my skin just felt nicer when I used this and I didn't get those little dots that I generally always tend to get with eye creams. I'm actually starting to get some again, I've just realised. Oh, I switched eye creams. There you go. But really like this and I would definitely consider repurchasing in the future. I'm just trying out some others at the minute which I may stop soon if I'm getting those little bumps again which is very annoying. And this is the Origins Jingzing Refreshing Eye Cream. And when I got this I really liked it and did enjoy it. I think though this did start to give me those little bumps eventually, you know, after a while of use. Um, and I've had this for far too long. I definitely think it's past its best, so I'm not going to risk it. I tried using it the other day and I just wasn't as impressed with it because I think it is past its best. Yeah, it's only got a six month um, expiry on it, so it's definitely gone, I would say. But out of the two, I would repurchase the Clinique one. I like it. Now, I have some, oh, few, I would say skincare, that's a lie. This is the Soap and Glory Get Your, uh, what's it, Off Your Face. These were pads. I got these when I was going to the gym regularly. I wanted something just to quickly take my makeup off. I wouldn't recommend these in the slightest at all. Oh my God, no way. My skin, it just, every time I use it, I would have a breakout pretty much within a few hours of using these. I know people are like, oh, it takes weeks. No, my lovely, if something's really not nice on your skin and your skin really does not like it, it will react and my skin always reacts when it uses. The only reason this is empty is because I used it to remove um, makeup swatches and anytime I had makeup spill on my vanity or anything, I'd use these to clean it up. I wouldn't recommend them at all. I think they're awful and the smell as well. God, mm, not impressed. I have the last of my Glam Glow. I had a sample that Rebecca sent me and I saved it for such a long time until my skin was in really bad nick because I knew it was gonna happen around winter and over the sort of Christmas New Year's I was really ill as we all know I seem to have been ill a lot this Christmas New Year's which is a bit rubbish but my skin was utterly awful I can't even explain the texture of my skin everything was just rubbish and I used this and immediately the texture of my skin was just so much nicer I did get some behemoth breakouts because of this and I know it's because it was drawing some rather clogged pores out like I had a really beastie spot here and one there and I had a spot here as well but they're pretty much gone now so I just used my spot treatments on them and they're pretty much gone but this there's the feel of my skin after this even like a week or so later it's just lovely it makes all the difference in the world I'm definitely going to consider buying um, a tub of this when I've used up my other face masks you know I'm on a beauty diet now so but uh, Love it. I've done a review on this as well. Anything I've done a review on, the links will be down below. This stuff rocks. I forgot how much it did rock. I think when I was using it, I was like, oh, it is pretty good, actually. And then when you don't use it for a while and use others, and then you use this again, this stuff rocks. Like, my God. Now, for some makeup items. First up, I have an empty sample of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I didn't really get much use out of this. I used it a bit, and then I went back to it, and it all dried out, so it has to go. I have two mascaras, well three, four mascaras actually. I have the Giordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizer Mascara. Um, I noticed, I did really love this and then I started to notice it would really drop down on me a lot, unfortunately. So I bit the bullet and decided to get rid of it because I've got so many mascaras and I wanna find one, which I'm currently using, I actually kinda like, but I'll tell you about that another time. But I wanted one that I just wouldn't have to worry at all about any kind of... And when I say drop down, I should probably be clear. I was getting grey smudges underneath my eyes. You know, in that bit, just under your eyes. So I was getting them just here. And I was just paranoid about it happening all the time. And I would check in the bathroom and make sure I cleaned up under my eyes all the time. And that's not good. So got rid of this one. This has dried up a bit on me too much and I'm starting to get flaking issues with it just slightly. I really liked this mascara, but I did have a bit of um, drop down with this as well, just some greyness under my eyes. Not as much as the Giordana one in the end, but I really liked both of them. I would recommend them and I don't know, I'm just worried about the drop down. If you get the drop down, I'm very sorry. Some people don't at all. I remember Tati from 
oh I think she did it was a glam life guru but now it's just tatty um she talks about this one and loves it and she has no issues so I would recommend it and some people use this one and have no issues it's a personal thing isn't it unfortunately now I have rather disgusting clear mascara from collection that's not even moving <laughs> it's just sitting there um I use this on my brows to set my brows in place once I've sort of filled them in with a bit of powder I used this to set them that's why it's so gross looking because of the powder that's just gone in and out of it all the time I've replaced this it's so old the packaging has changed but it did the job and the last mascara I really had it was a wrench putting this in here even though it needs to be here it's the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express this stuff just rocks and it's still going it's still liquidy but I'm starting to get irritation now so I need to get rid of it just this stuff rocks I don't like it when I first buy it and when I first use it I didn't particularly enjoy it as much as everybody else seemed to but when it dried down slightly I really really liked it so I liked it by itself layered up and I liked it layered over other mascaras and it works well on my lower lashes it doesn't give me the grey fall down thing underneath my eyes so love this would recommend it it was Carrie from Cosmos World popped me onto this thank you my lovely and check it out love it now final two things oh it's my Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers that have that finally died they only finally died because they were more crimping well bending my lashes rather than curling them so I think I had no more replacement pads so it was easier just to buy a new pair but I prefer these than the spring loaded I've meant to mention with those other eyelashes they did actually pull out some of my lashes um, I'm not sure because if just was not big enough for my eyes and then they were catching on the edges or it was because they were spring loaded or what but these are not spring loaded I really recommend checking out ones that are not spring loaded I've heard too many horror stories of people getting their lashes caught and wrenching most of them out finally I have a Balance Me Radiance face oil and I did actually test this out of my face and it was fine Unfortunately, it, it again has only got six months on it and when I remembered I went back to it It was definitely way past the six month period and I didn't want to test it out on my face again just in case So I used this up on my legs and on my body and I did a good job sort of keeping them from being too dry it Wasn't as good as some other things, but I'm guessing it's fast as best. So I like that it was a rollerball. That was nice um, Yeah, like this um, I have other oils I am testing out so I'm not gonna repurchase this Actually, I got it as a free gift in a box, possibly, so didn't purchase it in the first place, really. But, yes, there's that. So, that is it. I, I threw that in the floor, by the way. That is it for my empties from December. I did okay, I think. Just looking at the trash on the floor, I think I did okay. I got through a few bits and pieces, and I'm starting to get better at myself, uh, better at getting rid of things as you may have seen in my declutter video. If you haven't seen my makeup inventory slash purge slash beauty diet video, I will link that down below. You will see I got rid of a lot of makeup and I've not included that here because I didn't want to just duplicate myself. That would be unnecessary. But I'll link that down below so you can have a look for yourself. Anyway, I'm waffling enough. Um, it's nice to be back. I'm sorry if I sound still a bit not 100% but I'm loads better I'm just a bit deaf so I can't quite tell if I'm talking really loudly or very quietly or whatever else so I apologize about that but enough I've done a tutorial for this I look as well so if you would like to see it um, you can check that out later on in the week yeah so thank you very very much for watching please like if you liked please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye